And with the pandemic leaving many out of work, eviction is a sad reality. Even though the CDC has put a halt on evictions, many tenants tell News 4 Nashville they are still having a hard time. Call for Action Problem Solver Carice Jackman tonight spoke with a consumer attorney about all this. So Carice, what is she noticing? Yeah, well, the attorney that I spoke with says she's hearing a ton of cases related to evictions, and she also broke down who is protected and who is not. 2020s place a lot of financial stress on families, especially when the first of the month rolls around. We have been working with um, a lot of tenants who are seeking financial assistance. Carrie Dietz, housing and consumer attorney at Legal Aid Society of Middle Tennessee, says many of her clients have filled out the CDC declaration form, which temporarily halts residential evictions in order to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Until January 1st, um, a landlord cannot evict a tenant on the basis of non-payment of rent if the tenant is covered by the CDC order and submits a declaration. Now there are some requirements. For one, tenants have to state they're unable to pay full rent or make a full housing payment due to loss of household income or extraordinary out-of-pocket medical expenses. They also have to um, swear under this declaration that if they were evicted, they don't have anywhere else to go. They would either end up homeless, having to stay in a congregate shelter, or um, doubling up with family members. But there are circumstances where the declaration does not protect you. If they're being evicted for something other than non-payment of rent, so if they've violated the lease in some other way, um, the landlord can still move forward with an eviction against them. Now, Deeds tells me that there have already been over 560 evictions filed in Davidson County in the month of October. But again, she says as far as the declaration, it really depends on the person's situation, if they're able to be part of that declaration or not. I'm Carice Jackman, News for Nashville.